For years, BMW has set the standard for sports sedans, especially with executive sized ones like this 540i. But when you set such a high standard, you also get a high asking price, and that may leave some buyers feeling a little left out. Luckily, that's what Genesis is here for. It may be more affordable than BMW, but they're taking aim at established luxury car buyers just like BMW, Audi and Mercedes. So let's take the G80 Sport here and see how it compares to the 540i. From the moment you get into the 540i, you are greeted with all kinds of luxuries. Not only are these seats super spacious, but there's all sorts of technology in here and convenience features, like 4-zone automatic climate control. The front seats also have massage functions. There's heated seats, ventilated seats, there's a fragrance dispenser, there's a bigger infotainment system that can be controlled with 3D gestures, like you're some sort of magician. And let's talk about the sound system. In this car, there's a 600 watt Harman Kardon system that sounds pretty good, but if you're not satisfied, you can opt for a 1400 watt Bauer and Wilkins system. In addition to all of those features, this car has one of the nicest interiors I've ever seen. Take a look at this Napa leather, which is quilted and really eye catching. And all of the controls are ceramic coated. And if you wanted this vehicle to feel like a mobile workstation, it has built in Wi Fi and has wireless charging for your cell phones. If there's anything I could complain about, I guess the headliner isn't very luxurious, and I think maybe the wood trim is a little old school. But overall, the car leaves you with a very positive first impression, and that's before we even hit the road. But now that we're here, I can tell you under the hood is a turbocharged six-cylinder engine that makes 335 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. Now that engine is mated to a very clever 8-speed automatic transmission that uses GPS data to anticipate when you're going to go uphill or downhill and can change gears accordingly for more fuel efficiency or better response. This all-wheel drive sedan can hit highway speeds in under 5 seconds, which is plenty fast, but it doesn't feel particularly fast because of the way this delivers the power to you. It doesn't bludgeon you all at once with all that horsepower and torque. In fact, this car feels really refined and smooth. This 540i also comes with a number of different drive modes, including Sport Plus and Eco Pro mode, which really change the character of this vehicle. But you know what? I find that this thing feels perfect in the comfort mode because it is just so smooth and soft. It floats over bumps and the steering is really well weighted and pretty good for a BMW sports sedan. Now of course, with any luxury vehicle, there's going to be a limited amount of driver feedback, but that's okay because this is meant to be a fully luxurious experience, and it feels like one. Now in addition to the way this car drives and the gorgeous interior, this car is also packed with all kinds of safety and driver assistance features and advanced technology. Now by that, I don't just mean the fancy digital dash or the color head-up display, which this car has. I mean that this car can practically drive itself. But let's start by talking about the safety systems. This car has forward collision warning with automatic braking. It also has rear cross traffic alert and front cross traffic alert for when you're pulling out of a parking spot. Now in addition to that, it has blind spot monitoring information and lane departure warning systems. All really important things for when you're driving in a very busy street. But what's really cool is the adaptive cruise control system that can bring your car to a complete stop and start you back up again. There's also a really good lane keep system that will lock your car into your lane and can steer the car in some situations. And you know what? In emergency situations, the car will even swerve to avoid an accident. And then how can I dismiss the really cool touchscreen remote that you can get in this car that can help you remotely park this vehicle in really tight parking spots? But that touchscreen remote and some of these other features seem a little gimmicky and not totally necessary for everyday driving. I mean, honestly, I don't know how often I'd use this remote parking system. And there's some other features in here that are totally gimmicks. Like if you park your car yourself, you can get this 3D display of the car that you can rotate with the 3D gestures. Do you also really need soft closed doors or these M Sport brakes? I'm not sure you do. 
And in fact, if you're thinking there's a lot of gimmicky things in this vehicle, you'd be right. The basic four-cylinder rear-wheel drive version of the 5 Series costs around $52,000, while this six-cylinder all-wheel drive 5 Series, with all of the options I showed you, comes in at around $77,000. So let's say you want a big, comfy executive sports sedan but don't have 70 grand to spend. Genesis thinks you should skip that base 5 Series and should instead jump into a G80 Sport. It starts at just over $55,000 for a rear-wheel drive model and all-wheel drive versions are $2,500 more. That's it. There's no additional trim packages or expenses. Even all the color choices are no cost. So are there any compromises when you get a price like that? Well, in terms of space, it doesn't seem like it. This car is just as spacious as the BMW. In fact, it has more headroom, although the German car has a little bit more rear seat legroom and a bigger trunk. Fortunately, this car has a ginormous sunroof that makes it feel bigger and more airy. And although it's not quite up to the standard of the BMW, this Genesis has a pretty nice interior as well. In fact, I kind of like the carbon fiber trim in this vehicle, which gives the car a little bit more personality than that wood stuff in the BMW. And let's talk about the infotainment system, which is pretty easy to use and standard with an upgraded Lexicon audio system with 17 speakers. There's also Android Auto support, which is standard as well. Like I said, there's no extra trim packages or costs associated with a G80 Sport. I should also point out that this car has a really nice suede-like headliner. Although, if I have to complain about something, this vehicle does seem like some of its controls are shared with some of the recent Hyundais. Which isn't so much of a knock, it's just something that you'll notice if you've been in recent vehicles from Hyundai. And there's a lot of common features between the BMW and this Genesis. For example, I still have heated and ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel. This car also has a color head-up display unit, but it doesn't have a digital dash like the BMW. And there's some other features that this Korean luxury car doesn't have or is even offered with. For example, there's no massage seats or rear seat climate control. Additionally, this car can't remotely park itself, but it does come with a lot of the driver assistance features and safety systems that the BMW has. For example, there's adaptive cruise control that can bring the car to a complete stop. And there's also a really adaptive lane keep system that as well locks your car in the lane just like the BMW does. Now it doesn't have some of the high level functionality like the BMW so that means it won't automatically swerve out of the way of an accident. But functionally speaking it works just the way you want it to. Let's stop talking about what this Genesis doesn't have and let's talk about what it can put over that BMW and that's the motor under the hood. It features a six-cylinder turbocharged engine just like the BMW, but it makes 365 horsepower and a ton of torque. And unlike that BMW, it feels like this car gives you all that power right from the get-go and it feels really fast. So if you're into that feeling, you're going to love driving this car. Additionally, this car has three drive modes instead of the BMW's five, and the eight-speed automatic transmission in this car doesn't use fancy GPS data to change gears, but it's still smooth and quick and I've never complained about the gear changes in this car. However, the driving dynamics of this vehicle just aren't as refined or finished as the BMW. And that I think has a lot to do with how much heavier this Genesis is compared to the BMW. The weight difference between these two cars is around 600 pounds, which is a lot and can really affect the handling and other dynamics of this vehicle. If you drive and check out the Genesis by itself, I'd say it leaves a very positive impression. On its own, it seems to offer just about everything you'd want and at a really good price. But then when you drive the BMW, you'll pick up on what true luxury and advanced technology really is. And then the Genesis seems a little behind. While the Korean brand has a solid vehicle, it needs to do something really epic in order to stand out against the German competition. Fortunately, it's significantly cheaper. And if you're unimpressed with all the technology and features of the BMW, then you wouldn't want to spring nearly all that extra cash for them. There's no doubt that the BMW is still the high watermark for vehicles in this class. It drives brilliantly and is offered with all sorts of technology that you didn't think you needed, nor thought was possible in a modern vehicle. But the Genesis does about 85% of all of that, and for significantly lower price tag. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want the clear-cut best vehicle in this class or if you want something a little bit more reasonable.